Hello everyone, welcome to this video where we are required to find the equation of a straight line passing through two given points. And when we are given two given points, the very first step is for us to find the gradient of the line and thereafter, we are going to utilize the general formula at the top right hand corner there to find the equation of the line. Without further ado, let's get started, okay? So I'm going to first get the gradient of the line AB. So gradient of AB will be equals to... So here I would have my x1, y1 x2, y2 and in order to find gradient of a line it will be y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus my x2 in this case is 9 and this will give me a gradient of 2 over 3 And now, all I have to do is to substitute into the formula y minus y1. Okay, in this case here, I could just either use the point A or point B. So for simplicity, I'm going to use point A. So my y1 will be 9 equals to, again, I it would be good to put the brackets when we substitute values in gradient is two third multiplied by x minus my y x1 3 okay and now our next step is simply to simplify this equation here and I would have 2 over 3 multiplied by x, 2 over 3x, 2 over 3 multiplied by negative 3, negative 2, and last but not least, I will slowly get my answer because I just need to plus 9 on both sides so that I will get my final answer as negative 2 plus 9 finally 2 over 3x this is positive 7 for the next part I would have the line CD so replicating what we have just done step 1 find the gradient so in this case it will be line CD and that will be equals to substitute in I will have my again x1 y1 x2 y2 11 minus my negative 4 and my x1 which will be negative 2 minus 13 this will give me a value of negative 1 and now I just have to substitute in and I will get y minus, I'm going to make use of my point C for this particular uh, substitution. So I will have 11 equals to gradient. Gradient is negative 1 multiplied by x minus my negative 2. And for this, when I substitute, 
because there is an x minus negative 2, I will simplify the inside first. Then, finally, this will be negative 1x, negative 2, and I will have to add 11 on both sides so that what you will see is negative 2 plus 11 so that finally the final answer negative x positive 9 and we have come to the end of this video all right do take note how mr tan solved this particular problem step one if they don't give me the gradient rather they give me the two points i find the gradient first and thereafter i will then substitute the gradient and one of the points given into the formula y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 and just after that slowly simplify and you will get the equation of the line eventually well thank you for watching have a nice day